of real estate. They bump and grind and push and shove, and now they've got to come all back together again. Oh. One, two, one. Jason Bright over and over and up and into the wall. Oh. Cross. And it doesn't take much for Garth Tander just to lean on the front left-hand side of Jason Bright. Oof. It's that secondary impact. Down here. It's hard Luckily, to it's gone to that tyre barrier because not far left of that, clearly there's a concrete wall, so that is a frightening scene. And we very rarely see what looks like a complete brake failure in that zone. And as Greg Murphy reported before, you can see there over the top of Van Gisbergen's car, you can see that car just disappearing off there in the tyre wall. So great job by that tyre. Incredibly <coughs> massive impact. At top speed, he clips the wall there. The car surfs across the sand and straight into a concrete barrier. There was plenty of action. Over 200 kilometres per hour, Anthony Trapp, bang! A massive accident, one of the biggest ones we've seen in a while. And I'm pleased to say that Anthony is OK. He's here at the track again today, but that's the reason why we challenge on up front. Oh, we've got a car on its side. Safety car for sure. Kiwi entry of Paul Radisic. Here's the replay. Watch oh, here. Oh, he's run out of road. Look at this, and he's gone. Oh, my goodness me. That is a shocker. That is big, big impact. He's gone around the outside of the super cheap Commodore and cannot pull this car up. No, it's on the edge of the sand trap there, Lee. So uh, he can't get his... He just can't get the pace off the car. That's a massive crash there for Tanda. He's smart. That's Rick Kelly involved. Tim Blanchard, Moffat, they're all involved. Have a look at this. This will be red flag. That is a red massive flag, crash. Red flag, red flag. All cars are to stop on the grid in order, please, in their current order. He's heading. Goodness me, there's going to be a big accident. Murphy, straight on. Wow. Charlie, how Well, you... I think something had to break in the car there. Murphy can walk out of that. He's had a major impact. Look at that. He really has had the wind knocked out of him. Yes, he'd be reeling after that, not only because he's out of the race, he's out of the point. Head, so, Charlie, there's got to be some steering yes, problems. Yes, definitely. Either something mechanical or a tyre is deflated. Now, watch this. Full impact, unabated speed, car pow! Almost like a bomb going off. Look at the dirt get lifted up. He rolls it over, and fortunately, the car ends back on its wheels. Mark, there's plenty of runoff room there. There's a, a long way between. You and it yeah. did. It's made contact with quite a few. Huge damage. It's awful to see such impact. James is out. He will be get by. Now, here comes James Courtney as the car lifts. The Fujitsu car lifts. Oh! Ouch. All four wheels of James Courtney's car off the time. Oh. That is picked Courtney's car up. Chatting to my old boss, actually, Bradley Jones. Ugly. Oh, no. Holdsworth oh, and Davison. Oh, oh, my no. goodness. It's a big crash. Man. Oh. Oh, that's fuel at the back of Will's car. That is such a fast section of road. Oh, look at that, a big, big moment for Ellery. Almost spills it wide with oversteer. Gets into the dirt. Oh, and so too Wind Cup. They're all getting trapped by the lack of grip. Oh, Travel! Dumbrell. Big shunt, big shunt. Dumbrell and Baird. This Craig is going to be Baird. bad. This is huge. Lost the back off the Craig Baird car. This will be a safety car if the red flag, red flag. And that's the that's Rick Kelly. This is dangerous. This is this is this the blind spot. That's the blind spot we spoke about. That's the blind spot. Mate, you all right? Bye. This is Double safety car scramble. Clean in the back of that car when it was parked. He was so fortunate to be able to move the car to the inside and just miss running straight in the back of Rick Kelly. You can see here, I think it's Caruso. Oh. Does, it, 
doesn't get any easier second time round, does it? That is just cat-like reactions from, from Stevie J because he was, the, the run out of there, you run up against... The power's down, Bright seems to have got the jump as round two gets underway. Paul Radisic shot across there as well. This will be interesting, into turn one, and they've already gone off. Oh, that's an incredible smash to start this race. The Valvoline Cummins Commodore, and they're all over the shot. Six or seven cars have gone completely off. That is an amazing start. Johnson, this is another angle of this opening crash. I mean, you're only going 100 metres from the start-finish line there, and all of a sudden, Jason Barguana is on his head. It's completely ripped the rear axle assembly out of that car. You can see it sitting on the road behind the... Welcome back. Well, there has been a major incident on top of the mountain already today. That's Paul Wheel in car 50, lost control and is stationary. But what happens next is just shocking. Cut 021, the Team Kiwi car of Chris Pither behind the wheel, arrived on the scene there, could not get out of the way in time. That is an awful sight. It's a huge impact. Both cars, of course. Panda. Like a bullet out of the gate. They just flown off the mark. We've got problems there below. Oh! Paul Morris and Mark. Oh, oh, whoa. Oh, wow. Geez, I hope he gets out of that. Yeah, in a hurry. Yes, he's, he's out of it. Goodness me. Well, they'll have to stop this. Stop Did you out. see the speed of that? No, look at it's going over to Paul, Paul, Paul Morris' car. Out of the car okay here. Whoa, that's oh, going to go. Oh, no. Bang. There's fuel everywhere. Larkham's out of the car. I hope. The, all these guys are friends. Crompton in there, they're all concerned for their uh, fellow competitors' safety and welfare. They are all rushing in there to his aid. And that is exactly the same position we yep. saw the Formula Ford yeah, crash I yesterday. Uh, now, let's try it. Now, you see the touch there was from Stephen Richards. You know, I thought it was Garth Tanner, Stephen Richards. And the touch makes uh, Craig's car pick up the left-hand rear. And um, then you'll see... Cameron McLean, it looks to be in a similar position. Watch this. This is the exit of turn three. Trouble here between Paul Morris and Jason Richards. Whoa! Oh! Exactly the same problem. Straight up and over that ripple strip, which has been questioned by me. Straight over the top of that ripple strip. The very one that got Cameron McLean yesterday. And that ripple strip is there for when they use one of the short circuit options and the cars run into different... Walked away. And this is the one that happened just moments ago and Jason Richards just monumental damage to the front. David Russell, car number 78 on the outside of him is Todd Hazelwood. Oh, big trouble. big trouble at the end of the back straight and that's a terrible oh! incident. A terrible incident for Hazelwood. Into the fence backwards and rolled. Catch fence has done its job. Testament to the strength in the cars. This is the Dunlop Super 2 series. This is where the multi-point harness, the seats, the hands device that secures the helmet so that he doesn't end up with uh, a disproportionate amount of movement. Whoa! That was Barguana. That was Barguana that had a huge moment. It's rolled. Oh, it's a Bundy car. No, it's not. I'm sorry. Oh, my goodness. One of the Bundaberg Red Races has gone over. That, that, uh, that was a monster moment. Look at this. It's, I think he's ended up on the grass out there as he's turned it in, and off it's gone. Just illustrates the pace. It's just an explosion. And uh, nothing left of it as Fabian gets out. Remember, it's got a... Left rear has gone, looking back up towards the chase. I mean, you're carrying maximum load through there. Of all the places on the circuit where you want to lose something, that's not it. Yeah, and look at the top. I mean, if you focus oh. on, the, on that... Uh, left rear tyre, as it's doing all the pirouettes, it's it's a mess at that point. So. Oh, big, big moment, a massive moment for one of the Pepsi Max cars. Into the wall, and out of business for Chaz Mostert, the reigning champion, has had a monumental flag, flag, crash. This will be a red flag. High speed S's. Oh, he's clouded the wall. 
which has ricocheted him into the outside wall, and then the catastrophe really begins. It's just a pinball at that point, and it's ridden right across the top of that wall.